In fact, today, the Canadian Labour Congress released a study today on just the issue of corporate taxation, saying that corporate taxes are too low, and as a result, companies are hoarding money. They're not creating jobs. They're just putting it into their own accounts or paying out dividends to their shareholders. What's this all about? We've got the president of the Canadian Labour Congress, Ken Giorgetti, here to tell us about that in Ottawa, and Colin Craig. On the other side of the argument, Prairie Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation joins us from our Winnipeg studio. Welcome to both of you. Ken Giorgetti, let me start with you. you. Uh, can you tell us the basis of your study? Uh, what did you find here? And how is this contributing, in your view, to inequality in Canada? Well, what we found is in the last 10 years, um, uh, corporate uh, long and short term cash holdings have gone from about 177 billion to 475 billion dollars and we've got a government uh, that is today going to borrow 13 billion dollars to give a, a tax break to these corporations who will take that money and put it in the bank and and uh, we have to go out and borrow that money to do it we don't think that's good use of Canadian tax dollars but we also don't think it's having the effect the government continues to tell us it is since they've started these tax cuts that Canadian corporations haven't been creating jobs they've been sitting on the sidelines they've been criticized for it by our Prime Minister by the Governor of the Bank of Canada by the former Governor of the Bank of Canada by the Finance Minister in Ontario that they are sitting on too much cash and not investing in the Canadian economy Colin if you look at corporate tax rates in 2000 here in Canada they were 28 percent by next year they'll be 15 percent so they've cut corporate taxes in half Further to Ken's point, un unemployment hasn't been cut in half. Uh, we haven't doubled the amount of revenue coming out of corporations into Ottawa as a result of paying taxes because they're more profitable. So uh, doesn't Ken have a point? Well, no. First of all, you have to look at the world and look at how competitive Canada is as a nation compared to other countries, particularly the OECD. And when you do that, you'll see that Canadian uh, companies already pay higher taxes on average than other OECD countries. And as for the report that's released today, you know, I, I think Ken needs to uh, get on the internet because there's some great information on there. So he wants to increase uh, taxes on companies like Potash Corp. So I got onto their website and I thought, okay, well, what's going to happen if you increase taxes on companies like Potash Corp? Well, if, you, if they increase taxes, they've got less money to give to shareholders. Now, who are shareholders of Potash Corp? None other than some of Ken's members, the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan. If you open up to page 114 of their report, you see the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan has a half billion dollars invested in Potash Corp. So now think about that. Potash Corp has less money to give to shareholders like the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan than either teachers are going to suffer in terms of their pension benefits or they're going to have to pay more to ensure that those benefits continue. Ken, now, well, Ken, Ken's members also... Ken, I would like to get you well, to respond yeah. to that. What do you say to that? Because isn't well, it true that our economy is interconnected between rich, between poor, between people who are shareholders well, and pensioners? Yeah. Well, it doesn't have a point. Well, I think it's, it's cold in Winnipeg. I know you better put a toque on because, <laughs> first of all, what he's saying isn't true. The, the, right now, Canada pays the low, has the lowest corporate tax rate in the G7, which are the largest industrialized countries. And people like Colin and uh, John Manley would argue that we're in the middle, if you were telling the truth, in the middle in the OECD, where they average all of the 30 countries, the smallest economies with the largest, and get us in half. But in the largest industrialized countries, we have the lowest. But what we're talking about here isn't fiscal policy. We're talking about simple arithmetic, you guys. They've got $477 billion in the bank. That's billion. That's half a trillion dollars. Why do we need to borrow $13 billion today to give them that money to put in the bank? Wouldn't that money be better spent but left Ken, in the ca Canadian, hold, hold, hold Canadian just, bank just, account? Just Wouldn't it be, be better left in our bank? Here, no, just to be fair to call in here, corporations all over the world are hoarding money right now. It's a big problem in the United States, too. It's a big problem in Europe because they're uncertain about the investment climate. So? It doesn't have to do with uh, corporate tax so? rates. It has to do with what may yeah. be happening in China, no. whether Europe's going to explode in the coming months. That's why they're not but spending you're missing the money. My point. You're, missing my, you're missing my point. It doesn't matter what, you, what the reason is. Why is Mr. Flaherty and Mr. Harper borrowing $13 billion to give a, another percent and a half tax break to corporations who are going to hoard the money when we've got a $24 billion deficit. What would we you have to go borrow that money and pay interest on it. Okay, Ken, but what would you do? Let, let, would you, yeah, Colin, would, go ahead. I, I would take let, that let money. Let me respond. Let me respond, please. Ken, again, you got to get on the internet because today I went on there onto Potash Corp's website, took a look at what they're doing with all this money you're saying they're hoarding. They're not hoarding it. 
As we speak, they are investing seven and a half billion dollars in Canada, in Saskatchewan and New Brunswick. They're taking those dollars, they're hiring unionized employees, your members, to build these new mines. And not only that, once the mines are open, there's going to be unionized employees working in those mines. We, so, I mean, we have you've got to talk to your membership about, about this report you've come million, out with. 1.7 million Canadians unemployed. We have about the same amount underemployed right now. We have a shortage of jobs. 63,000 jobs were lost in the last three months. Corporations are not creating the kind of jobs that they should be created. If they were, they wouldn't be sitting on half a trillion dollars in cash. Yeah, Ken, can I, throw some, can I ask you, Ken, our argument Ken, just to say that uh, I looked at your unemployment numbers, and what's interesting, if you look at actually the unemployment numbers between 2001 and 2008, when the corporate tax cuts were cut from 28 to 19.5%, you'll see that unemployment went down by 2% in Canada. So isn't there a relationship? I mean, the last few years have been uh, an anomaly because we have a don't worldwide recession. Don't forget the economy. The economy also grew during that time. We have more people unemployed now. 7.7% of the active workforce is unemployed. That's about 3% higher than it was back then. I'm back to my point, you guys. Would you right now go out and borrow money at $13,000 to give to someone that's already got $477,000 in cash? It's ridiculous. They can, the government right now should be looking for other ways to stimulate the economy than borrowing money to give it to people that have okay, already Okay, Ken, we want to give Colin the final word here. Uh, Colin, should corporate tax rates go even lower? Should we go below 15 16%? I mean, is it just a race to the bottom? Didn't work out too well for Ireland when they tried that. Exactly. No, I mean, the federal government, I think they've got a, a fairly prudent plan here. I mean, they're talking about reductions. Uh, I believe they kick in this year. Um, at that point, fine, leave them where they are. But what, what's really important here is we have to think big. I mean, what Ken's saying is the equivalent of, hey, I'm the best hockey player on my street. Well, you can be the best hockey player on your oh, street, but ridiculous. you're not going to make the NHL because you've got to compete against everyone. In terms of business tax rates, we have to realize that Canada is not just competing with the United States and, and England, but we're competing with countries all over the world. A race we to the bottom. We have to be competitive sounds, okay. in terms sounds, of our business uh, tax rates. Race, thanks. Or, or right, we're going to have to yeah. stop this race for the mic between both of you. So <laughs> this has been a great debate, and we, we thank both of you, Ken Giorgetti, Colin Craig. Thanks very much for coming thanks. on National Affairs today. Thank you.